Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We're on location at the Covenant Classical School where we're learning the value of a Christian classical education. So Tom, thanks for having me. Nice to see you too, Lisa. Tell me a little bit about the Covenant Classical School. Education is just one of the most life-shaping events in a child's life. Mm -hmm. And uh, our mission is to provide parents with a very distinctive option for their child's schooling. And our two major distinctives are Christian and classical uh, education. And we find that when parents come investigate who we are, uh, they often say, this is what I'm looking for for my child. What is a classical education? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, it's a very old idea. Uh, goes all the way back to ancient Greece. Um, and in fact, the model has shaped much of education that we know today, including in America, up until oh, about 75 years ago, uh, when grandparents come. They see uh, kids learning Latin and grammar mm -hmm. and classic literature, uh, and they often say, uh, this is the way I learned education when I was uh, a child, and they love it. But it's a very intentionally designed program that teaches kids at every level really rich content and the big ideas that have shaped uh, our world. And we often say that it teaches kids to read widely, to think deeply and to write well. That's awesome. Lisa, he mentioned curriculum, so let's talk mm -hmm. a little bit about a classical curriculum. He mentioned Latin. Uh, yeah. yeah, Latin yeah, starts in third grade. Wow. Um, which is a wonderful way not only mm -hmm. to give them a base for mm -hmm. other romantic languages, even the English language, but also just for analyzing a language so that regardless of whichever foreign language they choose later, it comes much more easily to them. How does the classical method shape how you're teaching? The classical methods really try to work with the grain of the child. So trying to think of the development of the child as the basis for how we structure things here. So when they're quite young and they're insatiably curious mm -hmm. and they really have a thousand questions a day, we want to capitalize on that and use that for their advantage. So we try to ask them good questions ourselves, model how that's done, teach them how to ask good questions, teach them how to find the answers and to think well about those things. They do a lot of memorizing. We're building a really big base of knowledge mm -hmm. when they're young. Um, but they do it in a way that's really fun to them. So they sing and they chant and they do hands-on activities. Um, and everything is intended to make school joy for them. Lisa, tell me a little bit about how big the class is. So the average class size here is between 15 to 18 students. Um, and we intentionally keep it those sizes because the connection between the teacher and the students becomes so strong and the teacher can really know each child, what their learning struggles are, what their challenges are, but also what their strengths are and really help them to learn. It also really helps us to foster the kind of Christian community we would like to here um, because the teacher can model what a mature Christian looks like. Mm -hmm. We can pass our values on to our students as well um, and help to really personally influence and shape them in that way. And tell me a little bit about um, how the day is structured. So every subject is really integrated into every other subject. We really want each child to see that all of the subjects work together as a whole, um, and that math is related to science, but also to literature and Bible and so on. So the whole curriculum is shaped together to be a whole. Well, it sounds like you're really giving them a nice base to build on. Where does the Christian part of the classical Christian education come in? Yeah. Uh, it's an important question. Um, as a Christian school, we have the ability to while we're teaching all of these subjects to include ideas and values that are rooted in Christian faith. So students may be studying ancient Greece and looking at the different gods in um, ancient Greece and the teacher can say, now how does this compare or contrast to what we believe as Christians? Uh, and in that way it helps the students come to understand the world in a way that uh, fits together and it's also education that touches the head as well as the heart. Well, that's important. Now, we're all concerned with outcomes. How does the, the, the child who graduates from here, how do they do out in the world, and what's the next step? Well, we've really found they do very well regardless of their next step. So this is an education that's not just meant to prepare you for college or even a job, but for life in general. So um, we found that all of our graduates who have come through the program are able to accomplish our goals, which are to think well and to analyze well, to speak well, and be able to show their beliefs and what they think. 
and they're wrestling with big ideas all the time in school. So when they come upon a problem later on in life, they're able to wrestle with it well, logically and critically, um, and also to be respectful and intellectually humble mm -hmm. <laughs> um, as they go into life as well. So we found that they're well prepared regardless of where they go from here. The high expectations and this Christian and classical model combine in a way that's powerful. And uh, we see that in a couple ways. Often heads of school that receive our students, yeah, I've okay. talked to many in the area and they've said, we want more of your kids. And I found they mean two things by that. Uh, they mean um, they're really well prepared academically, but also who they are as people. Uh, and it's that model coming together of what they know, but also who they are. That's well spoken. Thank you both for taking some time with me. This school and elementary school and this time in life is so important. So to yeah. develop a base like you are here, that's tremendous. You're yeah. helping us all. So thank yeah. you so much. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Yeah. The minute we walked through the door, there was just something so different about Covenant Classical School from the staff that greeted us to the faculty. I have had some amazing teachers that I love and cherish very much. She's a really nice teacher and she helps us learn a lot of things. The classical approach in general and with the Christian uh, philosophy behind it, it's kind of shaping them for life. What I love about classical education is the integration of all the different subjects. What project they're doing in art class will match up with the spelling words they're bringing home and that's all tied into the lesson from history. Every day there's something new happening. Like I get to talk to my friends, something funny happens, or we just get to learn a new uh, subject, or we have a new test, which is pretty fun. And the great thing about the community is that all of us want to see our children uh, in their thoughts and in their deeds uh, kind of brighten society. I feel so loved here, like I feel so close with everyone. This school is just amazing. Tell me a little bit about what kindergarten looks like here at Covenant School. I have a lot of keywords I love to use. Joy, exploration, um, experimentation, um, curiosity. Those are all really key elements and all of it wrapped together with um, a loving and Christ-like environment. So we love to dance and move. We love to explore. We do a lot of science. We talk about geography of the world and where all of the things that we're studying, where they fit in the world. I can tell just sitting across from you, the joy you have for teaching this young age. What, what makes it special for you? Well, I really do love this age. I love what I teach. I love the students. I, I love the Lord, and I really want that joy just to explode out of me. And I think on any given day, if you were to walk down the hall, you can hear that joy just kind of erupting out of that kindergarten classroom. And the students, they have great joy for what they're learning. They have a great joy for learning about more about God and how, he, and how He's involved in all parts of our lives. And I hope to model that, but through all the activities that we do, the jumping and dancing and, and moving and hands-on activities and all of those things, I think help to bring that joy to them and it also helps them to want to share that joy with others. Why is this so important to have joy at this age and lay such a good foundation at kindergarten? We really want them to love learning. We want it to be a lifelong love, and we want them to be excited. And the opportunity we have in kindergarten is to expose them to all these different facets of learning that they will grow into each year as they proceed through the years in, at Covenant Classical School. Thanks for stopping by and letting us share a little bit about what you do every day. You're making a big difference. Thank you. We're gonna be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned.